Of course, one of the top national stories yesterday was the uh, announcement of, uh, I guess, the conviction of uh, Harvey Weinstein on uh, some multiple charges. And talking with us this morning uh, with a wide variety uh, of expertise on legal issues, we say good morning to attorney Austin Pennington. Austin, thank you for joining me in Memphis. How are you? Wonderful. Glad to be here. So, Austin, uh, Harvey Weinstein, uh, there was speculation before any verdicts that he may walk on everything, statute of limitations, and, and, and all these uh, different reasons why. But the, ju- the jury did uh, find him guilty of some things yesterday. What happened in court? So he was looking down the, the barrel of five different counts here, and it became clear to a lot of us that there was going to be some issues on the more serious counts, the, the two counts of what New York State calls predatory sexual assault. Those are the the most serious accounts, and those are the ones that carry with them a possible life sentence. And so what we did find were two convictions, one for what what New York calls first-degree rape and another for a criminal sex act. And now he's looking at a potential of five to to even up to 29 years in prison for these convictions. Okay. The the verdict, of course, comes on the heels of what seemed like weeks of... of just graphic testimony uh, from several accusers who 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 uh, basically it sounded like many of them had the very similar story of of how things had occurred. Uh, seven men, five women on the jury handed down that verdict yesterday after several days of deliberating. What is next for him? I, is it safe to assume that there will automatically be some sort of appeal for him? It is, Tim, and, and we've got a sentencing on March 11th, and that's got to occur first. And okay. the um, court will, will levy whatever the sentence is going to be. And and one of the reasons the range is so high is that he's facing 5 to 25 years on the First Degree Act and then up to four years on the Criminal Sex Act. And the, the judge is allowed to stack those sentences so that they're, conser- they're served consecutively. Uh, after that, though, so, like you were just saying, we can anticipate an appeal. His defense team has already stated they plan on appealing. And the two big issues they're talking about are the large amount of media attention. They're, uh, in their opinion, prejudicing his ability to have a fair trial. And second, the fact that three other accusers, other than the victims in these cases, were allowed to come and testify about previous alleged bad acts uh, delved out by Weinstein on them. Austin Pennington joining us on Memphis Morning News. And you mentioned the sentencing before any attempt at, a, at an appeal. Uh, what what do folks know about this judge? Is it, is it any any idea on what the history or maybe the temperament of the judge is that's going to be handing out the sentencing? I don't have a history on, on the judge's background and what potentially the sentence that will be handed down. But what I can say is that historically, and especially in the present time with these sexual assault cases, judges are extremely um, draconian, or or they bring the hammer down heavy, I guess is the best way to say it. So I expect that he'll probably see the upper echelon of that sentencing range just because these crimes are being punished so harshly these days. Okay. All right. So we'll keep an eye on that. And, And you said that's coming up March 11th. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. All right. So, I get so. Other than that, there are nothing. Other than trying to go down the path of the judicial system with an appeal, there's there's nothing else new heading his way that we're aware of at this point, right? This is, I mean, this is kind of the the he's heading toward the final destination of justice, as far as we can tell. In New York, he is now. There are still the pending cases in L.A., which have not been formally. Well, he's been charged, but the the case hasn't fully been opened yet. So ah. he's still looking at potential other criminal uh, convictions, but just in L.A. And I think that the prosecutors out there were really waiting for the New York case to resolve before they pulled the trigger. Sure. Okay, Austin Pennington. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your time and uh, giving us a, just a good synopsis of. What happened in the courtroom regarding Harvey Weinstein and uh, what uh, is expected and what may very well be on the horizon out on the West Coast. Thanks so much. Appreciate your time. Please don't be a stranger. Thank you, Tim. Looking forward to hearing from you all again. All right. Sounds like a plan. There's Austin Pennington on Memphis Morning News.